Next question is from Living Proof 277 You guys often mention how people who lose a lot of weight fast are, in a way, doomed to gain it back and then some. As someone who has done this, what tips could you give me to avoid following falling into yo-yo dieting? Uh, mm. Listen to two episodes yeah. ago. Yeah. For you're sure, doomed. right? doomed. Yeah, two things. First thing I want to cover is, uh, physiologically speaking, uh, uh, besides the extremes, okay, besides the crazy extremes, losing a lot of weight fast physiolo- physiologically isn't going to make you gain it back any faster. There's nothing happening in your body on a physiological level that means it's going to make it gain back uh, much faster or guarantee that you're going to gain it back. <laughs> what we're talking about is the behavioral uh, stuff. That's where you see the big issue because studies mm. do show mm-hmm. that when people lose a lot of weight, um, if they maintain nutrition and exercise and all that stuff, it's fine. It's usually not an issue. The problem is the behaviors that were that are needed to maintain that are not solidified. And oftentimes, the things you do to lose weight real fast are not behaviors that are conducive well, to long-term. They're not long-term, sustainable. They're yeah. not long-term successful. Well, you're uh, you're also you're also getting the body to adapt to a because the reason why people lose weight so fast is normally they do too dramatic of a swing, meaning they go. Uh, They start to increase their activity significantly from what it was just currently at. And they also, in conjunction, reduce their calories significantly. And the body has like a very sweet spot of like, let's just, and these are hypothetical numbers, but just for making this point, you lose, uh, you know, someone loses weight really quick. And so, and and because they're counting their calories so much, they're moving so much, it's happening rapidly. And it equates out to two pounds a month. Well, you may have got those two pounds a month without even having to re- or two pounds. A, they say week or month. Month. Week, month. month. Yeah. That two pounds a month. You 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 could have easily got that potentially without having to reduce the calories as low. And all you really did was get your body used to eating a lot less calories. So yes, it, there's nothing physiologically that happens that guarantees you're going to gain the weight back, but you definitely have done something physiologically to you that has changed how fast your metabolism is, and that is setting you up for the the unlikelihood of long-term success. Well, so so there are studies on this, and they find that uh, like a 72-hour fast or a significant calorie cut over the course of 10 days or 14 days actually uh, has less negative impact on or less metabolic adaptations than a slow, long diet uh, would. Um, but that, that's not really the issue here. The issue isn't, you know, is losing weight fast worse or better for my body? And is it going to make me gain the, the weight back because something is happening to my body on a physiological level? That's not the problem. That's not what we're talking about here. And of course, we're staying away from the extremes. On the crazy extremes, it's not good for your body physiologically. What we're talking about is the behaviors, the psychology of what ends up happening. If you go from one lifestyle, because in order to lose a lot of weight real quick, that means you completely, you change a lot of things real fast. The odds that those things that you change real fast are going to stick are much lower when they happen really quick versus when they happen gradually over time, allowing you to build upon new behaviors. This is, this is the problem because nine out of 10 times when I've seen people lose weight real fast, it's through behaviors that they just can't maintain. It's like I went from eating garbage and not exercising to working out five days a week and eating this super structured planned uh, you know, menu of, of nutrition. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a huge difference, a huge change. And ma- in, in keeping that change to be very, very difficult. It's much, much more effective to add one little thing at a time Wait till that becomes a part of your normal daily behaviors. When that feels normal, then you add something else, and, and that's 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 the best approach uh, long term. I agree, but I think it's also important to note that even the studies that you're citing right now, you're talking about ten to fourteen days, and I think it's really it's a, more common than maybe we think that a lot of these people come out the gates with way more extreme swings than that for longer periods of time. 60, 90 days. Most people set a goal like, okay, the next three months, I'm going to eat this way. I'm going to go to the gym every single day. And that dramatic of a swing of increasing your activity level that high and then also significantly decreasing your calories, I know right in a short period, you know, like quick fast, things like that are not a big deal. But for three months straight of a diet that you are grossly under eating nutrients that your body needs and over and pushing it and exerting it more than you would 
absolutely has physiological changes. Well, yeah, there's, there's definitely going to be a metabolic um, adaptation, but the big problems come from the people who diet all the time or diet, don't diet, diet, don't yeah. diet, allow their bodies to swing. But again, I think we we worry too much about the physiological stuff. Like, you know, oh, if you lose it fast, your body wants to gain it back. And we need to stop worrying so much about no, that No, I agree stuff. with you. The behavioral side is for That's sure. That's the most important. No, we agree on that. But yeah. I think it's important that the people understand both are happening. Sure. It's not just behavior. There's also physiological things that are happening too. Yes, sure. in a short term, not as much. But long term, absolutely, especially chronically for years, if you're always that person who yeah. is in these extreme diets. I mean, I know mm -hmm. both of you have, how many times have you had that client? I and mean, this yeah. is when we first started to learn about metabolic adaptation because first, before we even started doing the research around it. Well, it's cyclical. I mean, the, the, I've trained a lot of people that actually like plan this out throughout the year where they sort of allow their themselves to indulge a bit more. Maybe it's in like the colder months or maybe it's like, you know, like after they, they go to compete or do something very specific and then you know and then they cut so hard they cut so hard for like like you said maybe like two three months where it, it is so restrictive where they're they're eating like 500 calories almost they're 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 exercising like ridiculously they're adding nothing but cardio on top of all that and then they're left with this just like this this new body that they're trying to now have to repair all these things that they've done to themselves right yeah yeah i, I would say so to how to prevent the the weight from coming back so you're in a position now, you've lost a lot of weight in a short period of time. How do I mitigate the the, the potential weight gain? Build well, muscle. Build muscle and you're going to have to structure and plan your way back. It's, you're not going to, you, don't rely on willpower because you're going to screw yourself. So focus on strength, focus on building muscle, slowly increase your calories and structure it and plan it. So you know, okay, I'm going to add 150 calories a day to my diet for the next couple of weeks. Monitor yourself. Okay, the scale hasn't moved up that much. I'm feeling good. Now I'm going to go up another 100 calories for the next couple of weeks. Slowly build up your calories while trying to build muscle. Hopefully the weight that you gain through that, and usually this will happen if you do it right, you'll end up building muscle. Now you're with a faster metabolism, and that's the best insurance you have against uh, the, the weight gain uh, that, you know, that comes from the, the, the crash dieting.